every great team is a deadly aborigine. Buddy Franklin and Surioli, Louis Jedda. So here we are, brother. This week's a bit different than usual. At a cafe, my brother. Oh, yeah, that's good. I could use a coffee. Oh, someone sounds like he's had a big night. Nah, nah, nah. Big nut, big nut, boy. Hit the dance floor. Brother, all I said, I just wanted a coffee, brother. I just wanted a coffee. Just yeah, like yeah, coffee. I reckon, brother. I can picture you on the dance floor doing the robot. Hey, brother, does this look familiar? <laughs> Who's the guest, brother? Who's the guest? Well, my brother, we have the privilege today of meeting a premiership player, a guy that's got a lot of passion for our community. It's Glenn <laughs> Merton, brother. Actually, that's triple shot. I think that's yours, brother, boy. So, Glenn. Successful football career. Tell us a bit about what you've done uh, life after footy. Life after footy? It's not all cafes. I've been somewhat busy doing unusual, weird, wonderful things. Racing a bobsleigh to performing the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Probably the day-to-day -day task is getting involved in the community and in turn getting a lot back and learning a lot about the people around me. That's right. Now, actually, pretty slick hairstyle. Mm. I've got a bit of a comb up to the left, but I've got curls. How do I get my hair? looking like your hair. I think you've just got to cut it down, but I'm really interested in your shirt. Is that something you sewed yourself? Off the kitchen table, this one. Can I rest my glass yeah, on your sure. peck? Well, yeah, I'll put it on, on that there. I'll put it right there. Yeah. Right. What do you reckon, Matt? Brother, I reckon you've got a chance at the comedy festival. What do you reckon, Glenn? Oh, there's no some jokes this place. What did the jeans say to the bra? Meet me at the clothesline, that's where I hang out. Glenn, show me outside. Okay. Dad jokes, take one. What's brown and sticky? A stick. A duck walked into a department store, bought some lipstick, went up to the cashier. Cashier said that'll be a dollar fifty. The duck said, just put it on my bill. A termite walked into a bar and asked, is the bartender? Do you want to tell us a bit more about the bobsled? What what can I tell you? I mean you're in you're in lycra. You're in Lycra and it's sub-zero temperature, beaten by New Zealand from memory, but they had some very disciplined sheep. There he is. Look at that. Now, Glenn, very, very nice wheels here. Don't mind giving us a bit of a rundown on this beautiful antique car. Oh, don't touch it. It's only just staying together. 1958 FC Holden. Classic Australian car culture, right here, right now. Forget about all this plastic stuff around us. This is the real McCoy. She's a great car, and you know what I love about her more than anything? She starts conversation. Well, Glenn, thank you, brother. Thank really you, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining myself and Nat, Deadly Arms with Nat and Flash, brother. Pleasure. Really Absolutely appreciate it.